Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another podcast. It's hard for certain men to be players. Yeah, you know what? And I just had to break this down to you. It's hard for certain men to be players. Now, you know, generally, you know, you have people who, who men who work to, you know, quite frankly, to get their stuff together. You know, they work to get their money together. They work to get their bodies together. You know, they to really be hitting on all cylinders. And you have quite a few men out there like that. It's actually, if they are interested in being players, it's kind of hard for them to do that. And I'm going to tell you why. Now, I know there's a school of thought that says, hey, if you if you got looks, money, status, all of that, hey, you'll get all these women. But other than the fact that if you really got all of that, that you're working a lot of hours and really don't have time to deal with a lot of women, on the other side of the coin, a lot of women ain't going to be coming for you. Now, I know that seems, uh, that seems to go against uh, what people think is wisdom, but I'm going to tell you why. Understand something. When women look at a man and they just want sex, they kind of they kind of look at them the same way a man looks at a woman when he just wants sex from her. Now, as men, we know we're going to look at a thought and a wifey as two different ways. Like when we see the thought, we, we ain't tripping off of any issues she got and. You know, as long as it's not something that's going to come back and bite us. But, you know, all she need to do is be down for sex, down for whatever, down for whatever in the bedroom. We're not worried about how she look in public. Shoot, sometimes if we can, and let's be real, let's keep it 100. If we can, we'll just have her come over to our place, have sex, and go about our business. Sometimes dudes might be like, look, we'll just meet someplace. Or he might go over to her place, whatever the case. That's all she's there for is sex. So that's all he's playing her for. Now, he meet a man, any man that meets a woman that's a wifey type, oh, he takes her a bit more seriously. You know, he's going to he's going to think about introducing her to the family. He's going to think about. He's 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 going to think about, okay, how she really going to fit in his life. You know, he's going to make future plans with her. So he's going to take his time. He's going to take his time a bit, right? If he's smart, he's going to take his time with wifey. Women are the same way. Women are the same way. Despite what many men think, these women out here, they many of them just want to have sex. They want to have a good time. So they look for the good time guy. But many of them would prefer a good time guy that doesn't have a lot going for them. That's why you have many players who, you know, they don't have their own place. They might not have a car, barely working, but that's not what they're there for. Their sole purpose is to bring the D. Indeed, they don't even have to look good in the face sometimes, as long as they got a good body. That you know, it's funny when I hear about these guys thinking that a man has to have a has to have a handsome face to get sex. No, he might have to have a handsome face when she's looking at him as a boyfriend or a potential husband. But if it's just sex, he just needs a good print and a nice body, a firm body. And many women will do that. In fact, many women will look for that guy who don't have a lot going on, who they can, in their mind, justify kicking to the curb. Like, they'll get a butt his face. Not a butt her face, but a butt his face. Like some guy who's... Got the body stuff because he's just for sex. They'll get the guy who is all he all he does is sit at home and play Madden except when he's stroking them. You know, you get a lot of these older women. They'll get a young boy who don't have much because they're getting him for one thing. They just getting him for sex. In fact, if a man really just wants sex, he shouldn't show too much what he got going on. But say they meet a guy and, oh, you know, this guy got his own place. This guy got his stuff together. She, She's like, Arr! she thinking about it now. I've even heard women say that. They'll, they'll, I've heard women say they met some guy and he's the type of guy that, you know, this ain't just somebody to have fun with. But, you know, this is somebody to get serious with. And as a result, you know, they ain't going to just throw it at them because then they worried about being perceived as um, 
as a hoe. So they they going to hold back a little bit. Now, for the guy who's in that position who might want to be a player, it's going to be tough. And, and many guys in that position, I've heard from several over the years, they'll say that. And, you know, they'll, you know, they bit more serious and they'll say, man, these women ain't throwing it like they was when I was broke. I was like, nah, they taking you seriously. Shit, they, they want to see what's up. Right. And some of them, because, you know, some women, you know, another thing, contrary to popular belief or what many men, especially blue pill men think, all these women aren't looking to get married when they deal with a man. They are not looking. I, I actually had a woman tell me that one time. I had that like thought that all these women, when they're dealing with a man, were ultimately looking for marriage. Now, some men, some women just want the D. Some women just want the D, and they want it as uh, with the least complications possible. So they get that guy. Like I say, they get that guy that can kick to the curb without any problems. Shoot, they'll mess with that ugly guy as long as he's uh, discreet. You know, they'll do all that. But that guy got him some stuff together. You know, he might even have some looks, you know, a little bit of money. He got some status, you know, can do can bring resources. And you know what? He can even be good in bed. Shoot, a woman's like, shoot. First of all, if they get that, it'd be hard for that guy to uh, really be on that game thing, even if he tell the woman, because the woman going to try to lock his ass down. Shoot, she, she going to be slick with it. Shoot. Now, yeah, people talking about pick me's and stuff. Shit, this woman might go over and clean this old bathroom in like like a thong or something. I mean, it's uh, it really is. It really is. And for some of the men listening, and you 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 thinking about it too? You like, well, wait a minute, hold up. I done made. Oh, I got all this money. Got all this going for me, education, and I'm still having trouble with these women. That's because they ain't looking at you for the short term. And, you know, unfortunately, some of the, some women, they think, oh, well, I'll have fun with this guy and then this other guy be here to pick up the pieces. No, no, <laughs> no. And one thing I got to say about that, too, and this is why I don't like that whole uh, alpha beta thing together. Right. He got some money keeping in shape. He he got some standing in the world. How the hell is that a beta? Now, if you do use the terms just in a sexual sense, even then, it, you know, and that's something that's something I might have to address in a future video. Just because a guy's getting sex or even a lot of it don't mean he's an alpha. And as uh, some people who might have uh, purchased my uh, Lovers of Many Women video, paper uh, on demand video, Lovers of Many Women. you know, know, there are some guys out there. They, you know, they. They ain't kicking ass in the world otherwise. All they might be bringing is some sex appeal or something. But if you really look at them, like, most of the time their behavior is beta. Especially if they're dealing with some aggressive women. So, yeah, it's hard for certain men. I mean, I'm going to tell you what. And other dating coaches have said this. The game ain't for everybody. It really isn't. Any guy who's getting out there, they got to be honest about who they are, what they want, and everything. And, in fact, if you're a guy... If you're a guy making a lot of money, you're making a lot of money, you got status, you got resources, you shouldn't be out there like that anyway. I'm just being real talk, real talk. Because the more you out there, the more you can slip up and you get some woman who's just looking for that paycheck. Or you can get, you, you can catch a lot of hell. You, you, can, you can catch a lot of hell. And plus, if you focus on trying to like keep your money up, a lot of women can be a distraction. So, yeah. So, anyway, that's it for now, y'all. That's it for now. Had to address that. That's something that always comes up, you know, especially for some guys who, you know, they seeing some bum dudes getting women and wondering how come they ain't getting the same play. But, you know, that's just how it is. But at the same time, you're more likely to get the quality women. So, it's not a bad trade off, in my opinion. So anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Peace and blessings.